हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक सो दिस इज द ऑनवलॉप विच वी आर डूइंग नाउ ओके दिस इज अ शेकर ऑनवलॉप सो आई नीड फोर और फाइव लेस द वन वे विच इन विच वी डिड दिस वी हैव दीज फ्रेम्स लेफ्ट ओवर सो आई एम यूजिंग दीज फ्रेम्स ओनली ओके सो नाउ हाउ यू हैव टू डू इट इज जस्ट नीड टू अडियर दीज फ्रेम्स टूगेदर I'll take a piece of polythene, and I'm gonna apply glue like this here. Good quantity of glue, okay? Like this, and I'm gonna dab my die cut piece over here so that it takes the glue, okay? Once this is done, I'm gonna adhere it. to another piece see like this okay and once this is done i'll take another piece i'll add more glue to this again i'm just dabbing it over top of this this is the quickest way to add glue to any die cut even if it is a big die cut okay then third layer i need four layers okay i need four layers here third layer is done now i need fourth layer again add some glue if you want Once you've done this, you have to paste this on top of a pink cardstock. Now again, same thing I'm going to do. Okay, first let me just paste the acetate. I have cut up acetate piece exactly of the size of the die. See, it is exactly the size of the die. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add acetate on top of this. Like this. And I'm going to adhere that acetate here. you have to make sure that all parts of your die cut is covered with glue otherwise the sequence will come out apply more glue be generous over here and then just dab and keep dabbing so that the excess gets removed and wherever there is no glue you get a good grip of glue also just push it okay and make sure these squares you know these larger squares are all adhered in glue like this i'm just taking my time in applying glue here on this portion okay see it is a nice coverage of glue and now i'm going to take my acetate place it right on top of it and adhere it and press it tight we don't worry about the glue marks we will be covering that don't worry about that at all for this for this moment right now okay and now after that you have to apply this layer over here on top of this and the glue will dry uh, clear so don't worry about that at all okay so let's just adhere this i'll apply more glue here on my polythene and this way you will just apply this layer right on top of I'm just going to leave it for some time to dry and after it dries we will come back okay 
so just let's wait for some time and then we have to adhere it over here before that we need to put in our sequence but i need this glue to dry out first so let's just wait for 5 minutes okay so it's been almost 3 4 minutes i'm just going to wipe clean this whatever is there in the center like this is done now let's just move it to the sides and make sure that none of the sequences on top of the you have to be very sure these are secure the outer four sides inner ones even if the sequence is moved doesn't matter so now i'm just adhering this card making sure everything is in place and press it firmly so that you know everything just stays in place see moves this way okay and the just to and this is a sequence and i'll take a piece on the top and i'll tear it right on top here Give it a good press. Hold it tight like this. Okay. This 
way and then this is the die cuts and more uh, i have used four layers three of uh, garnet and one of gold rose gold and i laid a base of rose gold and i'll paste it on that part about this glue the a plus glue is it dry it dries it absolutely clear so this is the next envelope which we have done it is a, just a 5 minute envelope actually die cuts hamare ready the from the previous envelope the one which we did because we have cut cut out four colors so i used that for layering and i've used some sequins so that is it for today thank you so much for joining in bye bye